Hey, it's Joseph here. Today we are looking at three must-have extensions for SketchUp. They are so essential to me, I have even assigned shortcuts for them as well. And also keep in mind that they are all free. And all three of them are all model simplifying tools for very specific purposes. Tidying up your model is so important. Unless you're doing it habitually, things can snowball quite quickly and your model can kind of become too difficult to work with. With some practice, you can have all of these shortcuts down as your muscle memory and eventually it becomes a huge time saver and your model becomes very clean and tidy. The first tool is Face Merge. This extension is part of Cleanup 3 made by TomTom and you'll see Merge Faces. I have assigned the short key of Shift W which is a first set. So I can start from the blank space. I'm just gonna draw a arc this way that is flat and then one edge here and then select those two make it a surface with curvy loft and that became a surface there and also start from scratch with the sandbox I'm just gonna draw a surface down so I have some surface that are drawn here now at a quick glance you'll see that this is a single surface and it has some squares drawn on this one however if I go to view and turn on hidden geometry you'll see that this is actually receiving a lot of division and also triangulation for the sandbox created surface. Now this is typical of what you will see if you were to import like a CAD file or any other external geometry into SketchUp, you'll see a lot of triangulation and some of them can't really be reduced. However, if they are coplanar, meaning it's a surface with just a single division in between that are completely flat together, then you can just get rid of those edges. However, it can be quite troublesome going through all of them together. And with this extension and a shortcut, you can go through them very, very quickly. I can just go in here, double click that. I just want to select all of them and then go extensions, clean up, and then merge faces, or I'm just going to hit shift W and you see how it has merged into a single face as you can see. Or if I go here, select all, and then extensions, clean up, merge faces, and you'll see it will have everything down to a single face instead of multiple. However, you can still see a lot of edges that are remaining for both this one and that one right here. So what you can do is actually copy this one, Control C, and then select all and remove it and then actually go to edit paste in place or I have a custom shortcut of Control Shift V. If I do that, notice how it just becomes a single surface. Same thing over here, I can copy this one, Control C, and then select all, hit delete to remove all of them, and then I can go to edit, paste in place, Control Shift V. If I do that, you'll see that everything has come back in just as a single surface. However, I actually have a better method for this one instead of copying and then selecting all, deleting, and then pasting place, which is a quite nice way to do it, frankly, but I have an alternative way of doing this with another extension which I was going to mention. So if I just undo once, twice, you'll see that these edges are showing up. Now if I go select all of them, you can find if I go to tools, edge tools, and there's going to be erase straight curves which is dedicated as shift E which is right next to W which I was using and this one is also from TomTom. Tom. You can use that and if I click on this one you'll see 16 straight curves erased or I can run it again shift E for short and notice eventually it'll get rid of all of them. So the short practice would be if I had everything with surfaces so if I select all by control A and then shift W to get rid of and merge the faces together and then shift E to get rid of some edges and shift E again to clean up all together. Again, if I double click here, select all control A, shift W, shift E, not all of them, shift E again, shift E again, and then you'll eventually get rid of all of them and have cleaned up the surfaces. So especially when you have imported like a CAD file and it has a lot of edges that are just hanging about, then you can just hit shift E and it will just get rid of them. If you are a user of SketchUp, whether you are beginner or intermediate or advanced, you might have noticed something like this. So I actually have discussed about this on my last short tip video. So 
you can check that out if you want to. However, this one is involving an extension to fix this. So you can see that my edges are actually broken down. And this happens if you double back an edge on top of a surface. So if I were to draw a line here, there's no way to really get rid of them. My note on my other video was that you can just use eraser to heal that edge. However, it doesn't go through all of them. And if you are especially bringing a external geometry into SketchUp, you can experience quite a lot of them, even thousands. Going through them with a eraser tool will be quite time consuming. So with this extension that is coming from Fredo 6 makes this Fredo tools. If I go to tools and Fredo tools, so there's going to be something called remove lonely vertices and I have dedicated shift R. So if I select all of these edges together, tools and Fredo tools, and then select remove lonely vertices or shift R, then it will highlight those endpoints for me and then ask me if I want all of them gone. Yes, I want them to be removed. Okay, and then you will notice all of them has been fixed at once. And if you notice this hangs for a while, you can look at the bottom of the screen that a progression of this process and it may hang for a bit if you're going through thousands of vertices all together. However, this one, it just went very quickly. So if you look at the keyboard, it'll be in the order of shift W and then E and R. So W is for faces, E is for edges and R for vertices. So if you have been handed over a geometry to you and you don't really know the backgrounds of this model and you're not sure what's exactly happening and you wish to just kind of clean it up and you can run these extensions by shift W and then shift E and then shift R to kind of clean it up together. Hopefully that was useful for you. If you have liked it, please like and subscribe to my channel if you want to continue watching these type of videos and I'll see you next time. Bye.